Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your Linksys router. And before I start, I would like to remind you that if my video helps you, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below. The first step is turning on the router. Plug the power adapter into the router. Connect one end to an outlet and the other end to the router. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. The next step is to connect the cable from your internet service provider or from your modem to the internet port. This port is often marked as internet and typically has a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you now need to reset the router to its original factory settings. Hold down the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Wait for the router's indicator lights to start flashing. Occasionally, this button can be found inside the router casing to avoid accidental presses. Use a slender object to push it down. The router will reboot and all the settings will return to their factory defaults. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable from the router into a LAN port. The other end into the Ethernet card of your computer or laptop. Wait a few minutes for connection. Great, the router is connected to your computer. Now you need to set it up. But first, if you don't have an ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an ethernet port, I'll show you another way to connect the router. All you need to do is connect the router with the power adapter and the cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi if your router is new, the name of your Wi-Fi network will be the same as the name of your router. Your router has its own Wi-Fi network name and password that is printed on a label. Connect to it. Well done on connecting to the router. Now let's go ahead and set it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. First, on this page, click on this label. Or if it's not there, tap on the phone picture. On the next page, you can choose the language for the router's admin panel. In the router password field, enter the default password, admin. If this password doesn't work, you'll need to reset it to factory default. To do this, click on reset password. Then enter the recovery key from your router to reset the password. Look for a sticker with this key on your router. This sticker is usually located on the bottom side of the router. Type the recovery key into the field. Then click the submit button. Next, you'll need to create a new password and a password hint. Pay attention to the password requirements. Then click the reset button. On the next page, enter your new password. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed. Just watch the video and follow the instructions. Now go to the connectivity tab.
Then open the Internet Settings tab. Click Edit. And choose your internet connection type. You can find this information in the contract with your internet provider. If you're not sure which connection type you have, just select this one. It's the most common option. Click the Apply button. Next, go to the Wi-Fi Settings tab. Here you can change the name and password of your Wi-Fi network. If your router can support multiple bands, then click on Show More to set up separate names and passwords for different bands. Then click the Apply button. Double check that the information is correct, then click Yes. Wait a couple of minutes for the settings to update. Then reconnect to the Wi-Fi network using the new credentials. Now check if your internet is working. Just Google something. If the internet does not appear, Try cloning your MAC address. To do this, go to the Connectivity tab. Then to the Internet Settings tab. Check the box next to MAC Address Clone. Click the Apply button. Now you need to restart your router. To do this, go to the Troubleshooting tab. Then to the Diagnostics tab and click Restart. After a couple of minutes, when the router is fully powered on, check again to see if the internet is available. Just try Googling something. If internet still doesn't appear, Contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below.